Well, tonight, the Biden administration is speeding up testing for monkeypox and rushing 56,000 vaccine doses to areas where the virus is spreading the most quickly. There are more than 300 confirmed cases here in the U.S., and most of those infections occurred just this month. We're joined now by infectious disease Dr. Celine Gounder. She's also editor-at-large at Kaiser Health News. Dr. Gounder, so good to have you. So with these monkeypox cases on the rise, are we doing enough to combat this disease? Nora, we haven't moved nearly fast enough. We have known about monkeypox cases in the United States since May, and we should have ramped up education and access to testing a few weeks ago. Once we saw that monkeypox was spreading here in the U.S., we should have deployed v vaccines from our strategic national stockpile more quickly and broadly, not just for close contacts, but for others known to be at high risk for monkeypox. So on that point, who is considered high risk? Currently, monkeypox is spreading among men who have sex with men, including gay men and bisexual men, as well as trans women. But it's important to understand that monkeypox is not just sexually transmitted, and it doesn't just affect gay men. It can also be transmitted through direct contact with lesions on the skin, mouth, or private parts, as well as through respiratory droplets or sprays, and direct contact with contaminated objects, such as bed sheets and towels. I'm really concerned about the spread of monkeypox to immunocompromised persons and pregnant women. It can cause miscarriages, and it can be fatal to pregnant women, newborns, as well as immunocompromised persons. That's an important warning. Dr. Celine Gounder, thank you so much.